Um, and this enables, because everything is very uniform, enables uh, you to implement a system that enables you to, uh, that allows programmers to extend to uh, add things that ju look just like the built-in things to the language uh, at the syntactic level via its macro system. And if you ever use macros in a programming language, you realize it's it's a cool thing. But beyond a certain level of complexity, it's impossible to get these things be done robustly, mainly because of variables. Right? I mentioned that scheme and the lists and the defining thing was this lexical scoping and that you can determine the binding site or the declaration of a variable from where the occurrence is. And you lose track. If, if your macros are usually a textual replacement mechanism, right? popularized, I guess, with in my trajectory in the C language, right? There's a C preprocessor, which knows nothing about the binding structure of the program, which is that just does a textual replacement, right? And if the, the macro mentions a variable, and gets expanded in place A and in place B, it might refer to different declarations, right? Because there's some some capture goal, be, be, you know, because you you just put it in the scope of some declaration A, and then you put another scope, and because it's just purely textual, you just write it's called A. It refers to different bindings. If that makes sense. So with macros, as they reach a certain level of complexity, you lose track of that, and then it just becomes impossible to maintain. And you can, if you look at old C code, I don't know if they still do this, but the C code that I was involved with, right? Macros were also constrained. They could only be do on one line, but you could continue the line by putting backslashes at the end. And it would just, at a certain level, you would just stop doing it, even though you could do some amazing things with it. But of course, you it's really useful. But I mean, as your macros get sort of more powerful, you segue into not just sort of library design or feature design, but into language design, right? And this is great because some you know, problems in software engineering can very well be solved by doing what we now call the domain-specific language. And for doing that, you need more powerful macros, and specifically, you need to address this problem of variable capture. And so the scheme community came up with this idea of hygiene, hygienic macros that would preserve this lexical static binding that I, uh, that I was just described. And that was like the main like power tool that would enable to have much more expressive macros. And therefore, you would really definitely be able to cross the line into domain-specific languages. Now,